Welcome in all my friends and all my new friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Sunday Fun Day, <clears throat> February 18th, 2024. And the time is 6.03 a.m. here in Still Dark, Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on Craftably's A Dreamy Retreat. And I will get this out here. There we go. 42 by 24 inches. And it is by Gino Peoples. And let me show you the little thumbnail here. There we go. And I am currently <clears throat> right here in the fountain. So I've completed all of this over here and I am making my way up. And this is Square Drills. It has 80 beautiful colors. Yeah. And there are six ABs for LZs. And AB stands for Aurora Bori Ellis which are drills that have a special effect coated on them, and they are great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting. And the LZs are crystal slash rhinestones, and they appear more like a jewel or have a metallic appearance on them. Okay, so let me get myself a little organized here. Move that over here. I've got my breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer in it. There we go. All right, so I need my dollar store readers. All right, got them in. So let's see, I think. We will do the U-turns, and the U-turns, find it on my list, is number 38. And that's color 779, and 779. 779 is not on our list. We get to add a color today. So let's go see what that is. All right, D M C. Let me just double check. Seven seven nine. Yep, yeah, not on our list. And it says, light golden brown. All right, let's add that to our list. All right, 779. So 779, light golden brown. There we go. Done and dusted. Okay, and under my candle lamp, I am still on the holiday hustle, which is, hmm, I can't read that, hold on. All right, it is warm cookies, buttercream, and vanilla. And it is a candle, not a wax. Okay, so I can get out of there. All right. So let's pour those into...
the tray. Yeah, and after I pour them, I always put them back in my suitcase with the lid off. The lid goes here, so I remember what I'm doing. And then I just put it back into my case so I don't spill the drills. Because we all know I have this habit of spilling drills. Okay, I have some exciting news. So, you know I've been posting some videos from 2014 when we had 11 puppies. Yeah, Mama had 11 puppies. Well, one of my videos, which is very short, and it actually went into my shorts, not, you know, the other videos, the regular way. And I didn't even know it, but Tita let me know that that video was posted like, I don't know, 15 hours. And it got 2,100 views. <laughs> And it's the one, if you haven't seen it, look in my shorts. And it's the one <coughs> where it's dinner time with the puppies. That is actually one of my favorite videos with the puppies. Because I... That video, that is what we did three times a day because they had their breakfast, their lunch, and then their dinner. And I had to do it in shifts and I put them up on the, the uh, picnic table and was right there watching them eat and made sure that they weren't eating other puppies' foods. They each had their own little dish. And I did five puppies, and then I did six puppies. So I went in stages. <laughs> oh my gosh, and every time it was the same way. So I decided I would video it. Yeah. <laughs> they all knew when it was dinner time or breakfast or whatever. <laughs> I absolutely love that video. And it just brings back memories of how those puppies made me laugh and smile. And oh my gosh. Yeah. But I will admit, they're at the end of practically eight weeks with the babies. And being with them 24-7 and making sure that everybody was eating and healthy and, you know, doing all that stuff. And, yeah, I was wearing down. <laughs> but, you know... When it came time for the rehoming, every single puppy, I cried. And, you know, a part of me was lost. You know, it was so heartbreaking to me because I was so attached to those puppies. And, yeah. And every one of them, when they were going to their new homes, they all cried. And the new owners would take the puppies in their hands and walk to the car. And every one of the puppies looked back at me and cried. And they were trying to wiggle out of, you know, their new owner's hands. And, 
Oh my gosh. It was always a very emotional day for me when puppies went to their new homes. Yeah. Sad, sad, sad for me. <laughs> but yet it was it got easier each day as they were because they all didn't go to their new homes on the same day. So, all right, now we're going to do the ones, which is 24, which is 581. Moss green. Yeah, so today I... To be honest with you, um, I didn't know if these puppy videos would actually be of interest to anybody. And so I just did a, I just transferred a few over from my Facebook page just to see how they would do it. They're doing pretty good. So today my big project I need to go in and see which ones that I transferred over and are scheduled because I I think I scheduled seven of them and they were just random. So now I got to go in and figure out which ones that I have already posted and then post some more. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and post the rest of the puppy videos and get them scheduled and then then I'll start on the videos of Ellie and Mama and then just Ellie because um, those are mixed in yeah I'll just do those And I still have to watch the ones from the dog park and kind of see if I can post those. I'm still on the fence. I think it's okay to post because it's in a public place. And I have seen others that post while their dogs are out and about in public so and other videos that you know they just um they post so I think it's okay but I will have to watch those and just see what's on there because I do have a lot of dog park shenanigans going on especially the dogs and the squirrel oh my gosh now that is a funny video that's great so that is my project for today which will take a long time Do the bees. What's a bee? I wish I could memorize where these are. Okay, it's 65. And 65 is 3819. Not on our list. Oh, there it is. Light moss green. We'd already looked that one up. That's a pretty color, too. I like it. It almost has a fluorescent tint. 
hint to it or whatever. I am using my nano grab tape, which works really good. So, what have I been watching on YouTube land? Crafting with B posted. A short of the campground she's in oh my gosh that is so beautiful lucky her I sure didn't have very many bees you know what I think I'll finish the fountain let's see what the fountain looks like here's the fountain Okay, so we have the paw prints. That's what I call it, the paw prints. And that's color 69. And 69 is 3860. <coughs> Coco. So that's what Coco looks like. And then V also did a live, which it was just a short live. And I did go in. Is that? Yeah. At, when she was at the campground. And then she also did a premiere, but I was snoring away when she did that one. So. Any paw prints over here? Yep, a few. Um, and of course, I've been watching London City Walks. But I was... Let's see, I don't think I watched too much yesterday, but I did sit down with Ellie and we cuddled on the couch and I watched the new season of Sheldon and the new, or the new episode, the new season, the new episode. And then I also watched the new episode of Blue Bloods. And then they have a new show on and it's called Tracker. And I think I like that. It is an American show, but it's kind of lighthearted. And um, this guy goes tracking for people that, or whatever, somebody wants them to find something, he goes tracking for it. And the first episode starts in Klamath Falls, Oregon. And I'm in Oregon. So that kind of was an interest to me. I don't know if that's where they filmed it, but they did say it was supposedly in Klamath, Oregon. And he was looking for a little boy that had been kidnapped. And, but it's very lighthearted. It's not drama. But yeah. And I like those kind of shows that are have some humor to it. And then when I got done watching that, that it flipped over and the next show was NCIS episode one, season one, episode one. I had never watched that before. Um, 
And yeah, so I'm kind of on the fence if I'm going to watch it, but it was interesting because it had the fellow from David McCollum or something. He's in it. And I thought, no way. That has to be a son or something because he looked the same as he did back in the 60s or whenever that show aired. Um, and I think it was in the 60s. Um, yeah, but he passed away last September. Okay, so let's do the up arrow. Up, up, up. Oh, that's 26. Well, that looks different in the camera than it does in real life. Okay, and that one is 610. Dark Drab Brown. Boy, some of the color names. Not like in the olden days when you just had <laughs> your basic colors. There are so many colors now that who can keep track of thousands of colors? to finish this section today and, and moving on up. Alright, so that completes, I think, the... That looks kind of weird to me. Hmm. Maybe it'll look different once I get all that filled in. All right, so let's do some C's. Let's do some pinks. 59. And color 59 is 3607. Light plum. Oh yeah, we've had that before. put you on pause for a minute so I could take care of my nasalness. I think I should have warmed my coffee up in the microwave. It's a little bit on the cool side. I think I'll do that quick. did anything other exciting yesterday. Just kind of a lazy day. And I'll spend a few hours getting those videos up. Also, going to do an unboxing, which I've got. So 
I'm unboxing. Yeah, I need to do the videos and then I'll schedule them out for you guys to see. Yeah, what I've been doing is just doing the videos and then scheduling them out. <clears throat> I don't want to be in your face too many times per day. Plums. <laughs> My cup is ready. So let's see, what else has been happening? I'm trying to think what happened. You know what? I should write things down. I need to get that journal going. And then I could just write notes down to myself. Highlights of the day. Oh my gosh, on um, Diamonds by Tita on her Facebook group, <clears throat> somebody posted a canvas. I fell in love with it. They said they got it from Timu. And... So I'm going to have to check it out. Um, yeah, I, it says on team that it's a <clears throat> 30 by 40. So I'm curious how it would render in that size. I need to go check that out. But it, of course, it's a landscape. We all know landscapes are my, my jam. Yep, yep, yep. That coffee's hot now. Alright, let's do another pink. I'm in a pink mode. Okay, 29 is 718. And 718 is, drum roll please, another plum. What was the other one? Do you remember what I say? That was color 3607, because this one's plum. What did I say? 3607. Light plum, and this one's just plum. Yeah, it almost looks like a, well, maybe that's the plum color. It's, it's a darker, a darker color. I'm going to add a little bit of color to this greenery. I'm 
hoping if I'm really ambitious here, once I get <clears throat> this whole section done, then I'll move over to my monthly painting because I still need to finish it. And then I need to work on the five panel one that you guys picked out for me. Got to finish up another panel. I figure if I do one panel a month. <laughs> That'll be good. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to being a triple whipper. Um, and occasionally, I'll, have, I'll just have those three going, but occasionally, maybe have a fourth one going because I have all these bigger paintings um, to do. And I started this one January 1st, so we're nearing two months into this one. But this is the biggest painting I've ever done. So. Oh, got a hitchhiker in there. do that right? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I forgot what I was doing. Am I doing this right? I did the C's. Oh, I am so confused. What am I doing? All right, let's look at these. That's a C. Okay, I am. All right, man, I thought I was going cuckoo there for a minute. Yeah, I know, I'm already cuckoo, but all right. Now we'll finish it up with, yeah, with the M's. And the M is 60. <coughs> 3608. Very light plum. So we're just going to stay in the Plum family. It is a pretty color. It's more pinkish to me. supposed to rain today. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in Salem, there will be scattered showers with a forecasted high of 57 and a low of 40. Currently it's 40 degrees and cloudy. Well, at least it's warming up a little bit. All right, we got those done and dusted. So now 
Let's go into the brown. Let's see what K is. 71. I do believe it's an AB. A sparkly AB. Yay for us. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. Okay, um, actually, all right, I'm not going to mention any names or anything, but the person who sent me the email about the canvas, I need you to respond to me. On the email I sent back to you and as soon as I get your response then I will mention what you asked me to and then it appears that um, I got another email that somebody once again for some reason couldn't comment on one of my videos which I don't understand that why that happens does that happen to other people? So I need to copy and paste what she sent me in the email onto the, um, the comments. So So it'll say from me, but it'll be from her. <laughs> Crazy pants. Okay, do I have any more? I don't think I have any more ABs or LZs in that section. So I think I'll do the hammers. And let's see. I think I've got two hammers. Yeah. And so this is the hammer that goes to the left, which is color 300 very dark mahogany hammer to the left and hammer to the right And thank you to everybody who said congratulations to me on getting 800 subscribers. Um, and actually, it's not subscribers, it's friends. I really appreciate everybody who's watching the videos, commenting, subscribing. That encourages me. Try to do some more con um, content on here, shake it up a little bit. I especially like all the comments. And I do have new people commenting, so yeah. And yeah, if you haven't pressed that subscribe button yet, I would love to have you as a friend and join my journey of different things here. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, is that all the hammers? Wow, not very many hammers. I thought there was more than that. Ooh, let's do five. We all know five. Don't even have to look that one up. Three tens. 
the famous blacks. These are such pretty blacks too. <clears throat> and those are the little dots. Yeah. Yeah, so if you like the videos, press the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, be my friend. And most importantly, add comments. I have been very fortunate knock on wood that comments have been positive I haven't had anybody with negative comments or spam um, of course if it was spam mm -hmm. delete And if you start any drama, delete. I'm a no drama llama. We just want positive stuff and things that make you laugh and think about and I'm not here to bash anybody or put down any companies or You can always think of something positive to say. Oh my gosh, you guys. I finished that clock, the diamond painting part of it, but not the clock part. Oh my gosh, it turned out so good. But yeah, I couldn't. Like I said, I am not mechanically inclined. I cannot figure out anything. No matter how simple it is, I make it as hard as possible. But I need to have my son help me with putting on the mechanical part of the clock. Maybe I'll just do a short video of The completion of the diamond painting part of it I don't know yet or um, if I want to I'm on the fence I kind of I don't know what I want to do I thought about just making it into a canvas and just gluing on the hands of the clock and stuff. Because I think that would look pretty too, just a pretend clock. Because I know I won't hang it up. Um, I got so many clocks now, but yeah, so I don't know. I, I just haven't made up my mind yet. And I need to find some backing for it if I'm going to have it as a clock. So I'm, yeah, 
I'm just on the fence what I want to do with it. Maybe my son will have an idea. I got to talk to He was busy yesterday. Um, he was doing some kind of TikTok thing. And something about a gaming live thing um, that was going to last like three hours or something. And then he had his live that he does. So yeah, he was a TikToker yesterday. He was a busy TikToker. And then he is also trying to start up one of those virtual, I don't know what they call it, virtual reality things and do that as a channel. And it's where you put on those goggle things and you're playing the game with the goggles on and <clears throat> but you can the people who watch you they can actually see the game that you're doing and you're talking about it does that make sense um yeah so that's what he's his next adventure in TikTok land is, or I don't understand TikTok because I'm not on TikTok. I mean, I've seen TikTok little TikTok videos, but not, and I that I don't understand the gaming part of it and whatnot. So. I know there was a guy years ago. I don't know if he's still making the videos or not. It seems to me that he got real sick and he stopped doing his gaming thing. But it was on YouTube. And, oh my gosh. Now him, I love to watch the games that he was doing. It was hilarious. I always look forward to his videos. <laughs> And how I got started is that my grandkids, because I babysat them, they, all of them, watched YouTube gaming things and adventures and whatnot. That was my YouTube experience. I had no idea there was other things on YouTube other than what they watched. I thought it was just kind of a gaming thing and so I got hooked into watching it with them and yeah <laughs> yeah I got to enjoy all that it just great I mean it's kid stuff that so on the days that I didn't babysit, I would have to, I'd turn on the TV and sneak watch it, you know, for because the, they were putting on videos every day. And yeah, I would sneak so I could see what the next adventure was because they were probably watching it at home and, uh, or, you know, weekends and yeah. So there was quite a few. It's like, I know this is crazy pants, but I was sucked into these adventures and games and, and stuff. And they had it on favorites. So I would just go to the TV and go to YouTube. And they're the ones that had the channels and so I just go in there and 
you know, I wasn't in anything else. And <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I discovered, oh, there's people who have knitting channels on here. And then when I started doing diamond painting, I mean, I, that was the extent of my YouTube. You know, I was watching a couple people with their knitting. I didn't watch a lot of people. Um, but then I started diamond painting and I thought, I wonder if there's diamond painting YouTubes out there. And, yeah, so that's how I discovered some YouTube channels. I don't even know if they're still around. I don't subscribe to any of them. It just got to... These people who started their YouTube channels right, you know, right at the beginning and I don't know, you know, I'm sorry, but you're not an expert at this. This is a new thing. And then they started getting these huge paintings and um, buying from these new companies and spending a lot of money, you know, and then no, I was budget friendly. And I stopped watching them. Just wasn't. So I, yeah, I don't watch any of them. Except for Ross. Oh, and he does all budget friendly. But then, yeah, as you know, last year I started getting um, some of the premiums. But only if they're on sale. You know, the clearance. And somebody on uh, Diamonds by Tita on her Facebook page, I'm sure they got it from their Walmart, but they got some Diamond Dots 50, um, for $5 a piece. They were clearancing them out. And so... And this is about the time last year when I got my Chuck Pensons on clearance at Hobby Lobby. So I may have to take a trip to Hobby Lobby and see if it's that time or not. Oh, I'm going to have to put these in the contour. Oh my gosh, you guys. 53 minutes of nothingness. Woohoo! <laughs> so, I'm going to crunch these up. And there's Ellie. She woke up. Oh, she's getting in. She must know I'm ending the video. Okay, those are crunched up. Nelly, you woke up. There we go. So I am going to let you go. I appreciate you stopping by and supporting my channel, commenting, and all that good YouTube -y stuff. I appreciate every one of you that are my friends more than you know. You really inspire me, and I appreciate that. So I am going to let you go. And I got to find my arrow so I can end the video. Oops, I got the wrong mouse. There we go. Let's see, where is Waldo? There he is. Okay, I will chat with you later.